You think that the Draugr would invade some of the local areas? According to the lore, the doors were never meant to keep anyone out. They were meant to keep the Draugr in. Now, the Dragon Priest, on the other hand, like, their followers should still be around, even with Mirak. So, I found a mod that in the ads, uh, Draugrified Dragon Cultists. Uh, to certain areas where some of these dra known dragon priests are known to dwell. Like uh, Vokun, like Croesus, you know. It's going to be interesting when I get to those other places. I've already taken out a few. But, uh. What else did I want to talk about? Oh, that, that was... This is, this is the last thing. If the reason some people don't watch the video is because the character is a pony, um, yeah, get over it. I'm not changing my content for anyone. My content does not physically impact you in the slightest. It's, it does not damage the game. It does not damage anything. People bitch about My Little Pony in the fandom because they're bored and they have nothing better to do with their fucking lives. We're not trying... I'm making the content I want. The, I got inspired to start an animation channel and eventually get it more into gaming because of it. And I'm keeping that up. Yes, animation takes a long time. I've never been to school for it. And yet, I'm doing this as a hobby. The least someone could do, outside of being a dickhead, is just watch the damn video from start to finish, and you don't even have to comment. You can just like the video and move on. That's it. It's that fucking simple. I try not to cuss a lot in my videos anymore because of YouTube's... Out algorithm doesn't seem to like swear words even though I'm well within my right to cuss anytime I want I'm going to but I'm going to make the content I want that's the message I want to put out there I'm not impact you don't you don't know me physically you don't know me in real life which is the same thing so why do you people always complain about brony content? It's not ruining the game, it's not ruining music, it's not ruining your damn life. Stop trying to control what other people are allowed to make for content. It does not make you smart or intelligent, it makes you fucking arrogant. And that stuff drives me up a wall. I'm not going to stop being myself just because someone else on the internet wants to act like a dumbass and whine and complain about something that doesn't actually affect their freaking life. This is a mural of Potema the Wolf Queen. It's just so it deal looks. with it in an adult proper manner and move on. It's that simple. We're not taking anything away from you. We're not we're not taking away value from games and movies and television with some of the content we make. I have a backlog of animations that I want to get done and I and frankly I had to put them on hold because yeah, half of them are war are Warhammer and Games Workshop has decided to attack their own fan base. Instead of being fucking competent and smart and going, well, you know, why don't we, why don't we use the, these people are, these fans are passionate, you know, let's, why don't we just let them monetize their content? Both of us win. We win, we get more people into the brand. These, these people win. They're able to support themselves. They're able to bring more viewers in, which in turn will, will also add to the people they're going to buy our product. It's called common sense corporations. Use your damn brains for once. Use your brains for once. 
instead of attacking your fan bases constantly the way you guys are, like Disney or Hasbro, why don't you actually be intelligent for five minutes and go, why, wait, so what if they have different political views? They're adding to the brand's recognition. We need to use that in a positive manner. Of course, people are going to be diff different politically. That's how it's always going to be like that. And no, it wouldn't separate or damage the fandom. It would actually mean, hey, we as individuals have every right to express ourselves how we want. If we want to do a My Little Pony Star Wars animation, guess what? We can. If we can draw parallels between Starlight Glimmer and Twilight Sparkle and Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan, guess what? We're going to do that. So thinking outside the box for, for crying out loud. It's like nobody knows how to do that anymore. Everything, everything has to be polarized and stuff. Come on. I can look at a character from one movie and look at a character from My Little Pony and I can see similarities. Take Dragon Ball, t Vegeta. I can see similarities between Starlight Glimmer and Vegeta and Twilight and Goku. I'm working on animations with that in with that in mind. I've done them in the past. I'm revamping a couple because I was I'm not, you know I'm not satisfied with how some turned out. And their fan works. They're covered under fair use. They don't violate copyright. And I don't need some idiot from YouTube. Or somebody on the Google forum saying, "Oh well, you know that you didn't get permission." Let me uh, let me say this. How am I going to get permission when I've I've sent emails out to some of these companies and I never got an answer back? Well, do you think that they're going to respond to an email from an average person, Mr. Google, Mr. Google forums expert? No. That's where fair use comes in. Instead of you people being blind dumb, dumb fucks and just blindly believing what Google fucking force feeds you, why don't you think for five minutes? The content I make does not does not break the law. It does not violate copyright. I am well within my rights to make it. Stop. This is what I would like. Stop being blind, gullible idiots and believing whatever these corporations put in front of you, why don't you actually get some reading comprehension and read the goddamn laws as they are actually written, not interpreted. And I think that about does it. Didn't really want to go on to a rant at the end, but there you go.